now in the distressing technique series we are going for the embossing recess technique and baltic technique in both of the techniques we will be using embossing powder one stamp and some distress ink along with one pigment ink pad we are using pigment because uh, it is uh, slow drying and in this case we will be having more time to apply our embossing powder now the pigmenting color should be very light colored for these techniques to shine out in this case i am using ice from color box now applying the ink pigment ink pads are very slow drying and are best to be used with embossing powders now i am going to apply some oops i forgot to put my paper now remove the excess and we have got our embossing powder on the tag remove any extra embossing powder if you have any and then put back your excess embossing powder Now I am going to emboss it on my embossing and through using my embossing gun. I have embossed it. Now you can see it is you are able to see it is shiny I've used clear embossing powder you can use any other embossing powder because for this technique we are going to remove the embossing powder after our work is finished I've also made one more tag to show you both the techniques one for embossing resist and one for the Baltic technique now for the both techniques we are going to use the same ink pads first we are going to use the embossing resist technique Now using any tissue paper, just try to remove the excess ink over the embossing. And your tag with embossed background is ready. Now this is the embossing recess technique because in this case the ink doesn't go over the embossing powder. But still you'll feel some raised, raised area on the tag and it will look like a quite shiny so the second technique which we are going to do is the Baltic technique in this technique we apply the colors same as that one a good coat A 
as you can see i am doing a lot of dark colors and with high concentration because this technique looks very good when the background is quite dark for light background it will not look that good because our ink pad was ink which we have used was already light colored now i have used some walnut stain walnut stain is my favorite because it gives a new kind of vintage effect people like vintage photo but i prefer walnut stain more okay now it's same as that embossing recess technique but in this case we are using one extra step and that extra step involves a home iron if you have a craft iron it is very good if you don't you can use your home iron just remember i am using my craft sheet so my work surface is protected whenever you are using iron always use some kind of protection over the work surface it is on the full heat setting let it warm up okay it is now ready now i am putting my tag here and very slowly i am applying heat over all the areas what this do is just it removes all the embossing powder onto this paper if any powder is left you can simply move over again and using okay now you can see this tag is having shiny effect and this is regular this one is called as baltic technique the advantage of this technique is that you are having a light color stamp which you can put on your background and uh, after using all those dark colors still it will highlight now you can use any stamp in black color and put it over it it will look fabulous now here is one more tag which i have made earlier in this technique before removing the embossing powder i have applied the black stamp you can see it looks on the behind of the tag uh, this stamp okay so this is the baltic technique and the embossing recess technique these tags looks fabulous you can use on any of your project it will look great and add a new dimension in your projects thank you